In this video, we're going to continue working on this athlete monitoring dashboard by adding in this filter bar, which are going to allow us to change any of the information from the athlete cards, as well as the wellness metrics on the bottom here, where we can select the metrics that we would like to look at, and they automatically update for all athletes. This is going to streamline the dashboard so that we can update each athlete with a single filter. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And in the last video, we got as far as creating this player card here, where we have now pulled out the date of birth, age, sport, position, etc. As well as we have a drop down menu where we can select any of our athletes and the information will automatically update. So for today's video, we're going to work on this player card a little bit. If you remember in the last video, I made us leave a few extra cells here on the left hand side. And the reason for that is this is where I like to put my dashboard filters so that when I am um, trying to update the whole dashboard, I can just have one space where I select the test that I want to see, select the dates, etc. So what we're going to do is just create out this filter bar. And an easy way to do that is we've already got our formatting kind of created here. I just left a box here for filters because I knew we were going to put that there. If I just control copy this box here where we have Catherine Cart's name stored and then go up here to my dashboard filters and right click, go to paste special and paste just the format, you can see that it just copies this blue and this uh, white text and just paste it over. Now the only thing is because there's no um, black line on the right side here it just didn't copy that over so we will just have to put that in and that's as simple as just using the border tool I'm going to create a thick black line all the way around but that's really how we're going to start to create our dashboard filters so the next part is I want to create a spot where I can select the information from my actual player card so what I like to do is just copy this and then paste it down one and I like to use this as sections so that I can basically um, have a header for each of the different things that I want my filters to do. So this one's going to be called player cards. Let's make it all capitals. And it's going to look like that. And then underneath what I want is just the ability to select the different metrics. So I know there's going to be five of them because we have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to put select metric one. Select metric two, and I should be able to just drag this down a couple more times because we use the numbers and Google Sheets is pretty smart and it will update that for me. The next thing I like to do is just bold those so that I know that they are um, something that is telling me to take an action and then just make them a little bit smaller. Now beside these, what I usually do is just merge sort of these cells here. And I'm just gonna drag that down and then I just make these a different color, usually a light yellow, because to me that signifies now that we have a space where I actually want to take an action, okay? Now if we go back to our control panel, what we're going to um, add is a box for player cards. So I'm gonna control C, right click, paste, um, format only, and we'll say player card. And I'm going to create basically um, a list of all of the attributes from the player cards. So what I'll type is equals transpose, open this up and then unique, open this up and the range that we want is our athlete info and I only really want jersey, date of birth, age, sport, position and status. I could use image, cell image, inactive, etc. but I don't need any of those so I'll just close that off and this is going to create a list for me that I can use. But if I wanted to, say in between date of birth, maybe I wanted favorite food, if I create the box in there and go back to my control panel, it's going to be in there as something that I can select from. As long as I create the new columns in between the ones that, I've, um, that I'm pulling out with the unique function, they will always be in my list of things to choose from. So I'm just gonna delete that out of there because I don't need that. But here is my list. So basically, what I'll do is just center these so that they look good. 
I'm going to go back to my wellness dashboard and I'm going to highlight all of these cells here and I am going to actually create um, data, data validation and I'm going to create a list from range like we do all of the time and I'm going to select this range and I'm going to start it at F2 because we're going to start right at jersey number and hit OK and hit save and now I'll be able to select all of these information so I'm just going to set them the same as what we have already, sport, uh, position, and status. And then what I want to do is actually have these cells refer to these cells. And you're going to notice nothing really changes, but it is going to give us the option to change things on the fly. So we'll do status. Status is probably always going to remain the same but that's okay, so maybe instead of position, maybe I want a jersey number, so I can select that, and this should now um, pull out the jersey number. But because we hard-coded this before, what we're gonna need to do is actually change this formula here. So in order to do this, what we're gonna need to do is write a match formula. Right now, what we're looking for is the athlete's name, and then just returning the value here what we could do is actually search for the one that we want to return. So instead of this four here, maybe we could write uh, match, open this up, and we want to match for, let's say, age, close this off, and then let's search for it in athlete info all the way across, and then false, close that off, and then hit enter, and now we're going to search for age instead. So if I were to change age to sport, you can see now it changes. And all we did there was in our old formula, what we do is just tell it the column that we want it to find. But now we're just going to match for that column. And I'm actually just going to copy out this match portion of the formula. And I'm just going to um, basically paste that into the formulas that we've already used. But instead of H11, I'm just going to change that value in each one of them. And that'll, that'll maintain basically all of our formats and other things that we want. So all I've done is just replaced um, the hard-coded column with the match formula to find the column that we want. So like before, we can now switch kind of everything that we're looking for. And it will automatically update on our um, player card here. So now part two to this, it works very much the same way. But what we're actually going to do is add our readiness metrics. So underneath here, I know I'm going to have a spot for four of them. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. But what we're going to say is metric one, metric two, metric three, metric four. And I'm going to just delete this one here. And get rid of it. So these, this is going to be the space where I pull out my four readiness metrics. So back to our control panel, what I'm going to do is control C and then just paste the format only. Uh, let's call it metrics. Data metrics. And I'm going to create that transpose formula again. So I'll hit um, transpose unique. And I'm going to pull out the top row of our actual wellness data, close that off. And these are the things that we might want to select from. Go back to my wellness dashboard and let's create our actual um, data validation. So back to our list. And now instead we want this column. We want to start at H2, hit OK, save. And what I need to do now is just select my readiness metrics. I already know the ones that I want to select, so I'm just going to select those now. And now we just create our space for these to go in. So what I like to do is just merge three cells and then merge two rows, three cells underneath. And then I usually just put a box around one, put a box around two, oops, put a box around two, and I leave this kind of blank and I'll show you why. I'm just going to put this underneath. So this is going to form where we put our readiness metrics. So what I'm going to do is the same thing we did up here is go equals and then just select this one equals, select the second one 
equals, select the third one, equals, select the fourth one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just holding down control to select all of these. So I'm going to bold them and stick them right there in the middle. And then underneath, what we need to do is write a formula to pull out the value for this. What we need to do is go to our wellness data and create our named range. So what I'm going to do is highlight A1 all the way to H and go to data and named range. And we're going to go from A2 all the way to H and we're going to call this wellness data and hit done. And what I'm also going to do is create one for the headers. So my range is going to be basically this first row here. There we go. And I'm going to call this wellness header. Okay, and hit done. And now we can write our formula. So I'll go back to sleep and I'm going to hit equals filter, open this up index. I want to index all of my wellness data. So wellness data, the column that I want is going to be match. Open this up. We want to match for the one that we have selected. So F20 in this case, we want to match it in wellness headers. And whoop, wellness header and false because nothing is sorted. Close that all off. Now, what are the conditions that we want to do it under? Well, we want to do it under when index. Open this up, wellness data. No, this is a long formula. Um, double um, comma, match. This time we want to match for athlete name. And we want to match that in wellness header. False. Close that off, equals the athlete name that we've selected. And the last one that we want is when index. I'm just gonna copy this whole thing one more time. And instead of athlete name, we wanna match for um, date. And when that is equal to the date that we've chosen on our dashboard up here, and that is never going to change where that is, so I'm gonna lock that in. And same with our name. And I'm just going to make sure that all of my things match. So I need one more there. And then we should be good. And I hit enter. And it's going to give us a value of 7. And I should be able to just copy this and paste it. Because it is now matching for each of the ones. And because I've left the, the cells open, it will automatically find the one that we want. So I'm just going to make these a little bit bigger, bold, maybe impact, uh, take the bold off if it's impact, and we'll go up to about 24, stick those right in the middle. And so those are our values. So one more time to walk you through that formula. What we're doing here is filter, index match. What I wanna look for is sleep in all of, all of the data, and I wanna go across and return um, the sleep column and I want to do that when the, the athlete name is equal to the name that we have chosen and when the date is equal to the date that we have chosen. Now one last thing we want to do is I'm going to wrap this formula in an if error so that if there are an error it just leaves it blank. So what I'll do is before the filter type if error, open that up and then at the end I'm just going to hit comma, double quotations because that means if there's an error, just leave the whole thing blank and hit enter. And I'll just copy that change across. And then finally, to make this um, stand out a little bit, if I select all of these cells, control um, select or control click, what I can do is format conditional formatting and I'll do a color scale. And what I actually want is a custom scale. But the minimum value, we're going to do a number. So anything basically below three, let's apply like a red color to it. Anything at five, um, sorry for number, we'll apply like a yellow color to it. And then anything basically above eight, 
let's apply sort of a green color to it. And when I hit done, now we have this automatic color code. And if I select different athletes, you can see that it automatically updates to reflect their scores. Now one last thing we might want to do is just hide away this dashboard filter. So if I select A all the way to D and then go to view, I think, and then group, group columns A to D, it adds this grouping button up at the top and I can now click that to basically hide that column. And if I want to bring it back, then I just click the button. So that's where we'll stop today. Um, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.